was the Matt Tolentino and the New Liberty Dance Orchestra, and they'll take you back on a trip back to the musical era of the 1920s swing. Band leader Matt Tolentino joins us this morning in the studio, and he brought something really cool. First, let's talk about the history of your group and how this drum kind of plays into that, and tell us the story behind this drum. Yes, I'd be glad to. So this drum uh, was a pawn shop rescue. It was uh, sitting next in a big open window, and it said Liberty Dance Orchestra. And I saw it about a year, and I thought, oh, that sounds cool, and the story is there. And then, of course, I'm actually a transplant. I'm from Dallas, but I got here as fast as I could. <laughs> Don't hold that against me. And so I, I love reading about local history and local bands and music and arts. And soon I start reading about this Liberty Dance Orchestra. And a light goes off in my head that, wait a minute, this is the drum. It's the right era. It's in the city. I am pretty certain that this is the drum that was part of a very big piece of Cincinnati musical history. That's amazing. And it was just sitting in a pawn shop. Just sitting in the front window, waiting. Waiting for you. Waiting for it me, It was I destiny. Guess. <laughs> very cool. So tell us more about the band and the style of music and what draws people now to that style of music. Sure. Well, um, of course, uh, we are the new Liberty Dance yes. Orchestra. <laughs> and of course, as you can see, this drum is retired, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah. So basically, the, the, the idea is to sort of honor the musical past of Cincinnati. And of course, that means also Northern Kentucky and Indiana with great composers, publishing houses, and entertainers who were from this area who made this music famous and brought it not only to New York and Cincinnati and Chicago, but also the world. How do That's you put right. your own flair on that type of music and kind of, I know you can't really update classics, but how do you make them for a modern audience? Well, we don't change too much, to be completely right. honest. Remember what happened to Coke? Right. Remember what happened <laughs> to Coca-Cola in the 80s working, with a new yeah. Coke? That's right. So what we do is we just simply take the music of the past and bring it forward. And we figure if it was popular then and people liked it then, there's no reason they can't like right. it now. So and we actually, we use these. I brought one of these. This is an example. Uh, we have about 5,000 of these in our collection. This is called a stock arrangement. And this was an example of what bands could go if you didn't have an arranger in your group. You could go down to the, the music store down the street, and for 75 cents, you'd hand the guy some money, you'd have an arrangement for your band. And so if you want to be authentic, there's no better way than reading the original ink that these guys did 80, 90, and sometimes 100 years ago. I love it. You're doing it right. You're, you're paying tribute to them in, in so many right ways. So tell us about the concert. It's this Sunday, right? It is. It's this Sunday at the Carnegie Center of Columbia Tusculum, 2 to 5. So it's after church and before dinner. Perfect <laughs> so it's right timing, in the, yeah. Right in that Sunday window. So we're going to have a 14-piece orchestra with strings and and horns and saxophones and flute and clarinet and, of course, dancers and people to listen. It's built as a dance and concert because we know that a lot of people like to dance, but we know a lot of people also just like to sit on the sidelines and take it all in. So we're, we're selling it to the wall. There you go. Just so come on down. If you want if you know this style of dance, you can come down and, and take to the dance floor as well? Exactly. And in Cincinnati, you know, we've got two wonderful dance groups. We have the big swing dance organizations. Yeah. And we also have a group called Flying Cloud Academy of Vintage Dance, which also is a big uh, proprietor, not proprietor, but a big um, advent of yeah. this wonderful music from a dance perspective. We're going to need to get them in here as well sometime. When you do something with them again, we'll have you back in with them because I, I hadn't heard of them and I would love to see the style of dance that they do. Sure. Very cool. All right. So uh, where can we find more information and buy tickets, that type of thing? Yes, we have a pre-Kindle online so you can buy tickets. You can beat the rush yeah. or you can get them at, at a little table day of. They are $15 or $10 for students with valid ID. And you can go to newlibertydanceorchestra.com and there's a link right at the top of the big old picture. So you just click on that picture and away you go. Perfect. And to make that all easy, we will make sure it's all at local12.com as well.